you're planning on going to work for a large organization, idle is fairly necessary. Idle is the best practices for IT service management. So it's how do you run a help desk, but it's, that's what everybody thinks about it, but it's not just the help desk, it's the entire organization. There is 30 plus practices inside of idle that is things that we do. That's things from change management, that's things from service desk and service management. It's how we do the measures and the metrics. It's how we take something from an idea of what the service is and we actually build it out throughout that whole project life cycle and get it implemented so the customer has it. Um, and it's all those things that interconnect and how they work in the organization. Now, the people that we talk to on a daily basis that deal with this a lot is the help desk and the service desk, and, but it's also the engineers. And so I see a lot of organizations, especially on the cybersecurity side, that are really looking for that idle background because it means that if you're working in the SOC and you know that there's a problem, you now can talk with the help desk and speak the same language and make sure that we can get the problem resolved, figure out what the incident was, and if there's multiple incidents, how they re result into a problem, how that problem then goes into change management to ultimately get the patch that needs to be rolled out so that we can fix the problem. And so it's all those interconnecting pieces, it's all these little gears that work together and talking about IDLE gives you that big picture. Over if you work in Europe, uh, IDLE is pretty much mandatory in most organizations there. Uh, in the UK, it's kind of the mandatory cert. You must have IDLE or we're not gonna even hire you. Uh, here in the US, there's a lot of organizations that require it, um, not necessarily to get hired, but they will require it within you know, six months of you being hired. I, I actually teach IDLE for foundations. Uh, so this is one of the courses I do teach, one of my more popular courses actually. And I have one uh, hospital chain here in the US that is a huge hospital chain and all of their people go through our course to get certified. Uh, once they get hired on, they have three months to get certified in IDLE, otherwise they get booted. Um, it's a requirement for them. And the hospital pays for them to, to go through and get it. So, so it is one of those things that's really good to have. If you work for the DOD or you work in one of the mil either in the military or as a contractor or a civilian for the military here in the US, they have the 8570 requirements, which says which certifications you have to have. And I see right behind your shoulder, you got Security Plus there, the one that's most common, right? That's about 70% of the jobs, you have to have your Security Plus. So I always tell people, if you're only gonna pick two certs, Security Plus and IDLE 4 are, are probably the two best ones to start with. If you have those two, you should be able to get a job and help desk someplace, get into the industry, and then start working your way up to other certs. <laughs> <laughs>